Assalamualaikum everyone Good morning Welcome back to our channel In grade 4 GIS Official How are you today? Hopefully you are fine Always happy And cheerful I wanna say Be safe and healthy at home ya As usual Before we start Let's pray together Pray begin Amen. Now, welcome back to science lesson. Wow! Look at friends. Where am I? So many big trees in here. I hear something, friends. It's like bird sound. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's bird. So beautiful. Friends, do you know where am I? Yes, I'm in the forest because we will learn about the amazing animals. Enjoy for this video until the end. Let's start! Friends, today in the science lesson, we are still in unit living things and environment and the topic today is about amazing animals living things and their environment friends do you know what is the living things living things are the things alive like human, animal, and plant. All living things live in an environment. An environment is everything around a living thing. On the picture, for example, we can see environment of plant. Look at the picture. So many flowers and trees. So beautiful flower. Many color and many kinds of flower. And the next is the environment of human being we can see houses trees street um, cars building and the and the other the environment can change the way living things live and grow and now we are going to the amazing animal the first animal is wow what is it do you know is it eagle yes eagle in bahasa it means burung elang Eagle is burung elang. Friends, eagle have sharp eye for hunting. Yes, eagle have sharp eye for hunting. And have hard and hook beak for ripping flesh. Hard and hook beak for rip, ripping flesh. In bahasa, it means burung lang mempunyai paruh. Paruh itu maksudnya mulutnya, ya. Paruhnya itu keras dan ujungnya runcing. Tujuannya adalah untuk bisa mengoyak-ngoyak daging dari 
mangsanya. Paruhnya itu keras dan runcing, fungsinya untuk mengoyak daging mangsanya. And the next is have powerful wings for lifting prey and also have sharp talons for holding and tearing at flesh eagle have skull shape allows eyes to see in front and below and the next is it is bird Do you know? Yes, it is hummingbird. Hummingbird. In bahasa hummingbird, it's mean burung kolibri. Yes, burung kolibri. Hummingbird have long and thin beak for getting nectar out of plants. Hummingbird have long and thin beak for getting nectar out of plants. Ya, burung kolibri mempunyai paruh yang panjang dan tipis ya untuk mencari sari bunga. Karena makanan burung kolibri adalah sari bunga. Sari bunga itu dihisap melalui Paruh yang panjang dan tipis. Oke. Okay? And hummingbird have wings long, narrow, and tapered to give it better agility in the air. Hummingbirds can fly backward, forward, upward, and hover. And the next is, do you know? Yeah, sure. It is duck. Yes, duck. In bahasa, it's mean bebek. Duck have broad and flat beak for grip the food so that it will not slip off. Yes. Duck have broad and flat beak for grip the food so that it will not slip off. And also, duck have oily feathers to keep them waterproof. Waterproof. Yes, duck have oily feathers to keep them waterproof. In bahasa, it mean bebek bulunya berminyak fungsinya ini supaya dia ti, bulunya tidak basah dan dia tidak kedinginan supaya dia selalu hangat and the next is dog has webbed feet for swimming in water the next is do you know friends what is it yes it is star star in bahasa it mean burung bangau burung bangau star have long flat beak that allow it to show small fish from mud and water and stork eat fish mainly stork have long neck for catch the fish under water and have waterproof feathers to keep warm and also have long legs partly and webbed feet for wading in the water
and it is penguin yes penguin have short bill for catching fish and eyes are sharp underwater for hunting fish penguin have lots or fat under the skin to keep warm body and webbed feet for swimming wow what is it yes it is chameleon chameleon in bahasa it means it means bunglon Yes, chameleon adapted their environment is change color to hide from predator and surprise their prey. Yes, bunglon beradaptasi merubah warna tubuhnya agar Hewan pemangsa tidak melihatnya. And also, chameleon have long tongue to catch its prey. Bunglon mempunyai lidah yang panjang untuk menangkap mangsanya. The next is Owl, yes, owl is burung hantu. In bahasa, owl is burung hantu. Owl is have good eyesight. Owl extremely sensitive hearing. Owl is nocturnal animal yes same with bed but owl have good eyesight and sensitive hearing and they and they can find small prey like red and also Bat, yes, it is bat. Bat also nocturnal animal. They have amazing hearing. Yes, bat is nocturnal animal. What is nocturnal animal? Nocturnal animal is that animal active. At the night, or this animal catch the prey at the night, but they sleeping in the day. That they emit sound wave and listen for the echo. They use the delay to determine the distance. So, today we have learned about living things are the things alive. All living things live in an environment. An environment is everything around a living thing. Friends, these animals live in very different places. Each animal's body is adapted to help them to survive in their habitat. 
the habitat is the local environment that they live in yes friend hewan yang tadi misjelaskan itu tinggal atau hidup di berbeda-beda tempat ya tubuh hewan berbeda-beda agar bisa beradaptasi dengan habitatnya beradaptasi untuk mendapatkan makanan dan untuk bisa beradaptasi dengan lingkungan friends and for the last is please do the exercise in the science workbook page 17 in the exercise 2.1 2.1 Yes, please do the exercise and submit to your teacher. Friends, thank you for the science lesson and see you again in the next video in the next science lesson. Thank you for attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.